G'day everyone, Raid Zero AU, and welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. This is episode seven. It's been a little while since uh, since I put a video up on Seven Days to Die, uh, mainly due to between work commitments, Imperian Alpha Three, and uh, No Man's Sky. So I've just, uh, just been struggling with a little bit of time lately. So, um, but now I really want to get back into it and uh, you'll be finding these videos coming out quite regularly. So at the moment what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing a whole lot of uh, wood because um, we are preparing the the barn for day seven. You'll see we're on day six. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Um, did a whole lot of work on day five, just worked mine through the night and um, worked on the barn through the day just to uh, get some progress done. And um, you know, day five, dog day, didn't see a single dog. So, which I'm not overly unhappy about. Um, you know, dogs are not my favourite thing in this uh, game, I'd have to say. Ooh, we've got some potassium here. That's good. So I'm just going to grab this potassium on the way back to the barn. Because we grabbed some coal. And um, this will just enable us to start making a bit of gunpowder, which will start increasing our gunsmithing skill. Which we need to raise up because uh, we want to get to the point where we can repair it any guns without um, losing levels on them. Just want to keep an eye out for any... Uh, I haven't seen a lot of um, bird's nests. Right, so there's our barn down there. I do like this area, it's nice and clear and open. Um, should be quite good for the horde nights. Provided we can survive it, of course. Look at that, yep. We've got a lot of these boulders around. I will mine out these boulders, probably do that off camera. Just uh, to get a bit of iron and things like that. So I'll just show you what I've done so far. And basically uh, what I did was I have chopped out the side, like it was had that overhanging side. And what I've done is I've raised it up, to, raised the wall up too. And then we'll just use for the time being some wood frames up here. Uh, and then we're going to put spikes down here. So I just need to finish doing these. Still using iron tools at the moment, but I also, if we go into our skills menu, I also just hit level 40 in construction, which means I can now get steel smithing. So we will get that immediately. So we can make our steel tools. So in here, basically, um, I'll just block that off again. Um, what I've done up here is I've put this door in, which leads out onto here. So I'm going to do that and then um, I'll do the same on the other side. The only unfortunate thing is that it means we don't really have a great view around the corner. Although having said that, because we're putting these out here as a lip, and you need the lip on, on all your constructions to um, just to stop uh, spider zombies from climbing up. 
so we can stick that there. And this is where I've been breaking in. one out. So that gives us the clear way out. And then we should be able to make, as you can see, I've got quite a bit of uh, wood here. Uh, secure wood door, we'll craft one of them. So it was a bit weird. This side, I had to put a couple of extra blocks in to get that to work. But this one seems to be okay. So I think this side is just slightly different to the other side. The other thing I haven't decided is whether to um, level off the top of this. I might just leave it as it is. But so that gives us access in there and then effectively what I'll do is I'll make a ramp out here to uh, to come up and that way I can enclose the entire thing and not have to worry about doors and things like that on the ground level. So that. Put that in. Made myself a uh, wrench. Okay. The one thing I haven't touched, which I will do at some stage, is this back area here. Um, I've kind of left that as it is at the moment. And I'll just show you what I've been doing down here, plus... Uh, So you see, I've just been mining out a little bit out here. Um, all of this down here is going to be the forge room and the storage room. And then I'll head off in the various directions to um, see if I can't hit a seam of some sort. Uh, so what have we got here? Uh, let's see, farm fence. No, that's not... I want fence wood farm fence uh, let's make let's make 30 of them for now And you see, I've just been making um, as much cement as I can at the moment. Um, now, what we want is some forged steel. I reckon we need 10. So I want to make a... Um, a steel axe and a steel um, a steel pickaxe. And I reckon it will take five of each. The other thing we do need to start doing is uh, making ourselves some spikes. So I'll do that once I've made these items so the tools let's see still fire axe five and five yep craft that 
It'll take a minute to do. Come back in here. And then I'll just tell this to... Uh, cement, 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 cement. There we go, cement. Make as much cement as it can. And then we want a steel pickaxe as well. Alright, that should speed things up a little bit. going to scrap these items I know I know that you lose some stuff from scrapping but at this point in time I'm not that bothered all right so a 159 steel axe thing we want to make is we want to make some wood spikes don't want a thousand of them at this stage but we might make let's make 500 oh we got no room it's all right 10 seconds and we'll be able to queue that up and then what I can also do is uh, queue up some gum powder okay And gunpowder, how much can we make? 120, that'll do for starters. Good. Let's turn our light off. And obviously as our uh, items get better and better, we will... Um, It will improve. So that flame there must be from a torch. Level up. And just go and stick these in. One more level. Let me just upgrade those ones. So the wrench certainly makes uh, this upgrading part. A lot easier not as easy as the claw hammer does so if we find the thing for the claw hammer that'll be great I'll just 
chop these ones out. I only want to take them to the second level of um, wood. Don't want to take them to uh, to the first level of iron. Okay, so all right, yep. Let's go there, and then we're going to need to chop that one out. Starting to get hot, so we'll take our mining helmet off. That should no, still getting hot. We got nothing on except bloody bandana. If we could find some um, sunglasses, that would be nice. that one too far that's okay so that gives us access out here yeah you can often there we go where are we going here I'm gonna run out of frames, aren't I? And the idea of the wood frames here it means that I can stand on them if I need to. Um, hopefully, they should be high enough. That's the end of the frames. But then I can pick a couple. I can pick a few of them up and be able to shoot down. Um, and then put them back in so it's a temporary solution it's uh, yeah it's not ideal but it should be okay all right so we, now what we want to do is we want to start putting some spikes down I think we'll just start with a double layer of spikes. I'll only bring it to there for the moment until I get the ramp sorted out and that way I can then enclose that whole area and fill in the spikes. Now these spikes aren't the best, they're, they're okay, but they're not ideal. Um, but there's just simply at the moment I don't have the iron to be able to update or upgrade a whole lot of wood log spikes. And putting down wood log spikes without upgrading them to, uh, to iron is 
just a bit pointless really. So these are a lot easier to make, use a lot less resources. Um, and for the first horde night, probably all we need, hopefully. Probably be proved wrong on that, but we'll see. Should hopefully also protect us a little bit from should we get any spawner uh, spawner screamers now screamers are um, we haven't seen any yet but they are they look like little old ladies and they will spawn around areas of activity so everything you do provides a uh, heat map um, so it's like a easiest way I can describe it is you have your physical world map and then you have a heat map which sits behind that um, and whenever you do an action in the world it generates a little bit of heat in that particular spot um, on the on the map and once it gets high enough it can cause screamers to be spawned and what they will do is, if they spot you, they will scream every 20 seconds. And every time they scream, they'll spawn in a zombie horde. So they can be a bit annoying. And one of the biggest things for generating heat on this heat map is things like forges and campfires and things like that. So, what they'll do is they'll spawn and then they'll start heading towards to investigate the area where the heat is. So I'm hoping that by putting these spikes out here, it will mean that they will um, get damaged on the spikes. So as a basic defense for the first zombie horde, or the day seven horde, this should be good enough. Um, really what we're looking at, I mean, hopefully they don't get in the building, but to be honest, I'm expecting that they will. It's only a wood building after all. Um, So really what, what I'm looking for is a bit of damage mitigation on Horde Knight. So, and just trying to make sure that the building doesn't actually collapse. So if I can thin their numbers a little bit. that cactus there. I don't know where the cactus is actually, I assume they damage zombies, so we'll just leave the cactuses there. They'll do a bit of work for me if they want. Oh, there goes our timer. So 
So I might just finish this off and then uh, call the video. So effectively this is what I've got left to do is just to um, finish off the wall on the other side, put up a few torches just to light the area up so you can see what's going on. And um, yeah, need to make a few more things. I'll um, I'll maybe take this out another. I might take it out another couple of rows for the um, for the spikes. Can't take it out too much because, um, especially in one particular area, because I need to build that ramp. So I need to build the ramp up to be able to get in and out without having to go in the front here, and then I need to block that off. So. Let's start. So, yep, yeah, it's a start. And then I need to bring that lip around and it needs to go across the front here as well. Just to prevent those spider zombies from climbing up the walls. But I'm thinking that sh hopefully that should be high enough. I guess time will tell. So, I'm going to call the video here, guys. Um, I'll continue working off camera. And I reckon next time we will, it'll be time for the Day 7 Horde and we'll see how we go. So, um, hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. Uh, apologies for those who have been watching the series uh, for the delay in, in this video coming out. But I can assure you it won't be, uh, the next video will be coming fairly soon. And um, I look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Raid Zero, are you? Signing out.